y'all. So welcome to week, I am week 38 and I'm gonna do my 37 week update. I am extremely exhausted. I am so tired. I'm late putting this up, but there's a reason for it. Um, and then I'll get into that. Uh, today is Monday, and normally I post on Fridays uh, because that's when I turn a new week. Well, um, this last Friday, I started having contractions every two to three minutes apart, and I timed them for two hours. They were pretty painful. I was not exactly all sunshine and rainbows that day. Um, so we decided to, I, I timed them for two straight hours and we ended up deciding, okay, I should probably go to the hospital now. My Thursday doctor's appointment, they told me I was still at a one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You know, I'm like, I'm right there about to be 38 weeks and I'm still at a one. Um, and it was, I was contracting the entire week. I wasn't dilated any, I was still at a one. And uh, it was my, I had to do a non-stress test. So they did that and he failed. I had an ultrasound before that and they were, t they had to sit there and wait till he kicked for a specific amount of times and he wasn't doing it. So they sent me for a non-stress test and he failed that. So then they kept me on it for another, another one, I guess a second one, and he failed that one as well. My hair is, oh. Um, so he failed two stress tests and the ultrasound, uh, ultrasound exam um, to see how much he's moving, he totally bomb failed it. He wasn't moving at all. And so they got kind of worried and they sent me over to the hospital and which is fine because it's right there. It's right, right across the street kind of thing. And I get in there. Um, I'm, I have the car. Garrett and I only have one car. Um, we've made it work this far. We don't see a point in getting a second car yet. We will have to within the next year, but as of right now, one car is perfect for us. So, um, I have the car, and Garrett has school that night, so I have to call him, and not just school, but a major test in that class, or a test in that class. So I have to call him and tell him, um, I'm not going to be able to get you the car on time. You are either going to be late for class, or you're just not going to have to go in because they're sending me to the hospital right now. They're really worried, he's not moving, blah, blah, blah. Um, so he calls his mom and they both get over to the hospital as fast as they can. While they're getting over to the hospital, they're setting me up with the NST test. Uh, you know, just it's just too, it's just exactly how they monitor your contractions and his heartbeat when you go into labor. Told me to chug a little thing of apple juice and to sip on a second one. So I was doing that and he starts moving, <laughs> like perfect. <laughs> He's completely just moving and jiving and doing all those things and like flip flopping in there. And I was just like, no way. <laughs> this kid is just as bad as stubborn as anything. So yeah, lots of fun, I promise, so much fun. So Garrett and his mom get there and they're all worried because they're, you know, I'm sitting at a hospital strapped up to these machines. And then they're about, they're like, okay, you can go home now. <laughs> Garrett was just like, are you serious? And on Friday, um, that's when I got two, my contractions started back up um, all day. They were a good amount. I don't know, I was timing them. They were still about uh, five minutes, or, no, they were about six minutes, I want to say six or seven minutes apart, and they got closer and closer and closer and closer, and by the time, I guess we went to go eat around six, maybe six, six thirty, I had time, I had started timing contractions that were two to three minutes apart, and I was like, 
you know, we've done this before. Wednesday, they were two to three minutes apart and they stopped. So I'm, I'm waiting a full two hours this time. And we get to Cracker Barrel. They've been going good for about an hour, uh, an hour and a half. And then when we're at Cracker Barrel, still timing them, still two to three minutes apart. I go to the hospital. Get to the hospital and they're like, you might, you know, we can see that your contractions, but here are your contractions and they're not strong enough. So you are, um, you're in very early, you're still in early labor. <sighs> I was like, so they're not doing anything? Like, are they doing anything? Am I any, anything? <laughs> she's like, well, I'm going to check you. And she checked me and she's like, um, what were, what were you at your last doctor's appointment? I was like a one. She's like, you're still a one. <laughs> so she's like, your contractions just aren't strong enough to do anything. They're definitely wanting to do something, but they're not, um, they're not quite there yet. So I was really upset. Garrett's obviously sitting there with our bags packed, just, just sitting there. And he's like, so we're going home. <laughs> yeah, we're going home. So that was my so weekend. since... Today is a Monday, and my appointments are usually on Thursday, but since I failed the, the stress test and all that other stuff, they wanted to see me back today on Monday. And they told me that I was not quite a two. <laughs> so I still haven't really progressed. And asked if I could just come in this Friday, and since I will be 39 weeks, um, if I could do, if they could do a membrane sweep. And, <laughs> cause I've heard about it and some people it's worked and some people it has. stuff has gone on. <laughs> but it's more just like labor weight. It's like a long, long labor weight. Cause I've had contractions. I've had them at the time that they've specified. I've had them, you know, they, they have the rule of five, one, one. So you need, um, the contractions need to be five minutes apart, one, lasting one minute for one hour. And it's 5-1-1. That's the easiest way to remember it. And I was like surpassing that. And I'm like, yes, three minutes apart, one lasting one minute to one minute 30. And I've done it for two hours. I have surpassed this. I am good. No. So that, that rule is not completely true. Um, it is once you hit labor, but it's not like the definite one, like the minute that your contractions are there and you've done that for whatever reason, it still doesn't completely state you are in labor. So uh, you have to be pretty much crawling. Okay. Whew. So... So here he is, uh, I don't even know if you can see him, there he is, 38 weeks pregnant, beautiful thing of whatever you want to call it, um, totally rocking the pregnancy genes today, I just didn't care. And I do have, um, I don't have stretch marks, but I have from where my jeans were, I've got lines, so I still don't have any stretch marks, nothing to show on the stretch mark radar. He feels, oh my gosh, he feels so much lower. My weight gain this week, I don't know if I said it last week, I was 134 last week, I'm 135.5 this week. So, oh boy, and I'm starving. I'm, my appetite has increased to the point of I'm just like constantly eating again all day. I have day. no idea how long this is gonna last, but I'm curious, it's very interesting, a very interesting process to go through two different types of labor so that is all I hope that um, you enjoyed this <laughs> I hope that I will have some better news on Friday that something is going on and happening and whatnot and um, and then I have some extra videos that are going to be going up this week probably in the next two days so I will talk to you later and yeah Bye, guys.